A trend line is a line marking in the chart to predict the chart's future trends or to forecast. Like with my sales and books here, how the sales going to look in the future? Well, I can go ahead and add a trend line to see how we're trending with current sales to kind of get an idea what the future is going to be like with books. So to go ahead and add a trend line for the books, right click on any one of the uh, columns there for the books and you can see it selects all the others in the series here. Then in the shortcut menu, go ahead and click on add trend line. Adds it here but brings up the task pane so you can change the trend line options from the default linear to maybe logarithmic. You can see it's got that slight curve so you can be a little bit more particular. I'm going to go back to linear. And you can see, let me scroll over, the legend, linear books, if you don't like the name of it, come down here and select custom and type in something else. Call it spiffy trend, hit enter, and there you go. Probably spiffy trend books. Let's go ahead and scroll down. You can do forecasting of where you're going, you know, with the current sales. What is it going to look like for future period of maybe two months? Hit enter. January, February looks like it's still increasing, although very slightly. And if you want the trend line to pop a little bit more than just the default color, come back over here in the task pane and click on fill and line. Let's go ahead and scroll up. And you can see that it's automatic. You can do a gradient line and then choose your gradients. Although, boy, that blends too well. You can do a solid line and you can come down here and choose the color. Maybe ooh, red pops out, doesn't it? Then the width, let's make it thick so it really stands out. Transparency, click and drag the slider. Woo, woo, woo. Okay, we'll leave it there. Let's see, you've got the begin arrow. You can have it going from the end point here, which gives it a circle. You can see the end point to the end arrow. Let's do the arrow there and update so it gives you an idea of what you're looking at in the legend here from point A to B. And then to go ahead and remove it with it selected, hit the delete key and it's gone. Let me go ahead and undo that. Come back up here on the format tab. And if I click off and, and I got that thin trend line that I initially put in before I formatted it, and I'm trying to click on it to select it, I'm like, darn it, how can I select it? As you recall in an earlier training video, you can come up here in the current selection group, click on the drop down arrow, and go to your trend line to select it and then go ahead and you can format the selection to bring up the uh, task pane because you could right click on it but then again we're back to you know can I even get my pointer on it because it's such a thin line to even right click to be able to format the trend line. Thanks for watching. Hey as a quick reminder if you like my video please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel get notified of the latest videos and for only two dollars a month you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.